Hello, my dear students, dear parents. It's Mr. Kwan. I hope you're doing okay and stay healthy and sound. In this video, we will be talking about Unit 11, which is entitled Space Travel. Try to have the book and listen to the recording. The title of the Unit 11 is Space Travel. So once again, the children, after we talked about, they attend sand sculpture uh, competition. And they have noticed something that are moving under the water, which was apparently uh, a shark. But in this unit, you see that you found out the, the fact that, that it is dolphin. So they see that the dolphins jumps out from the water uh, to the sand. So they're trying to... Uh, help the dolphins quickly but they don't know what to do so uh, but seems like Libby knows much more than other kids because he she has seen an interview on TV there uh, and dolphin expert how she how you can save uh, dolphins through pouring water on the whole of the dolphin this is th this, uh, the story this is what the story is about so try to read it try to listen to the uh, recording after you do this uh, try to answer the question that I have prefer prepared for you like what did the children see in the water was this was it shark or dolphin what did they do when they saw the dolphin how do dolphin breathe how does Libby know so much about the dolphins in the story so these are the questions for you try to understand what is the story about what is about talk about it try to improve your English through talking about the story and through the picture what do you see in the pictures and after that do the exercise page 106 we've got a list of vocabulary in this case look at the image uh, above that we have uh, we've got shooting star, shooting star, you know, a piece of rock in a space. From the pictures that you know, what the meaning, the shooting star, a piece of rock in space that are bent with the bright lights, it's a light. Solar systems refers to the sun and the, all the other planets like Neptune and Mars, and you, you study this stuff in science. Comet, um, an object in space that looks like bright, it's bright and it has tails. So. It has tails. Look at that comet tail. So this is comet telescope, a tube that you use to to use to look through to see things that are far away. For example, stars and moon. Constellations is a group of stars. A group of stars called constellation. Space shuttles, a specific plane that you use to travel to space. Astronaut, you know this one. Someone who works in space. So this is the. Um, meaning of these words then there is an exercise for you that relates to the this vocabulary in page 107 so please try to use these words in that exercise now we move into the working with words we study this and we have done this exercise like before but this time we have got phrasal verb what does phrasal verb mean phrasal verb it means a verb with a preposition called Together, we combine them called uh, phrasal verb. Phrasal verb has a different meaning, like a single word. So it's different from a single word. For example, come is different from the come back. So, so in that case, for example, a phrasal verb that we have right now is come back. It means to return. For example, she comes back from Britain. She comes back from Britain. So she returns from Britain. So, come back is a phrasal verb because we have verb come and back is a preposition. Together, they make a new word and has a different meaning like to return. She comes back from London. Well, come in, come is a verb, in is a preposition. Together means to enter a place. For example, the, uh, the students uh, come in the class. Come in the class. Come out, it means to appear. Something appear. The rain stopped and the sun came out means saying the sun appears the last one we have got camera the to visit a person or at home such as for example my friend came around and then my friend visited me visited me 
and we watched a movie together. These are phrasal verbs. I'm trying to know whether do you know any more phrasal verbs. Try ask yourself. Use them in context. For example, uh, more phrasal verbs that come to you. Uh, for example, called off. The meeting called off. It means cancelled. There is no meeting. Okay. These are more for passed away. It means to die. We have got so many phrasal verbs. Try to 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 know and use them. Okay. That's about phrasal verb. Uh, Phrasal verb, a verb with a preposition called phrasal verb. There is an exercise that related to use these four words, come back, come in, come out, come around, uh, uh, in uh, page 107, try to do that as well. Okay. Okay, we have reading, so try make sure to have the book because you have to read it for yourself and then listen to the recordings and try to answer my question that I prepare for you. Uh, first, I give you some hints about the stories. There's a boy, uh, who had a dream, so and so he had a dream and his dreams in a spaceship flying through the stars it, uh, he passed the compass and he, he has seen um, amazing views um, and he, he ended up landing on the moon and he described the, how wonderful the moon was and the story is going on like this so finally he woke up and he felt uh, snug he felt comfortable and warm this is how it was the story about and the questions uh, after you read it and listen to the audios look at try to answer this question and try to talk about the story what do you understand from the story what do you notice what do you see from the story what did he find in the story look at the question what was the boy talking about second question how did he describe the stars and talk about it I mean where did he land does the boy's mother believe he traveled to space does Nipton look great? These are the questions for you. After you found the answers of these questions and try to do the exercise of page 110 and 112. And in this uh, story, we've got a list of words that underline words like, like uh, headed off, diamond, precious, surface. These are snug and more and more. We have got these words that are actually underlined. So I'm going to explain this word for you in order to to use them in the next exercise of the the next exercise, uh, page 111. For for example, head off to Mars it means start going to the direction of Mars. It means going to Mars. Head off means going to somewhere. That's one. And the next word is diamonds. Diamonds, you know, this diamonds is um, a pure, very precious stones that much pressure, uh, actually more precious than gold. That's about diamond. From the picture, you know that what is diamond is. Precious is something very valuable and expensive. This is called precious, my precious uh, laptop. Okay. Uh, surface, the top layers of something. For example, the top of the book. The sur Sorry, the surface of the book. The surface means the top layers of something. Okay, that's about the surface. The next word is snug. It means snug to feel comfortable. It's an adjective to feel comfortable and warm. My snug little house. Snug house. It's very comfortable. Okay, the next word is glow. It means glow means a steady light. A steady light. A light that's something produces a light. Okay, bumpy. A road that is not flat. It consists many movement, unpleasant movements. So this is a bumpy road. Uh, uh, that is about the vocabulary of that word. Try to know them, try to use them in the, your own sentence and do the exercise of the next page. This is an, ex this is an exercise for you. Use those words that I explained in the previous uh, slide. For example, the first one is already solved. Second one, expensive and special. Three, to start going in the direction of place. What is that word? Give me that word. It's then a verb. Feeling warm and comfortable. What is that word? There is an adjective. And the pictures you see, you try to answer those. Use those words that I explain it. It is writing time, last page of the unit. First, we have four words. Evening, night, afternoon, morning. This word, you're going to write down the based on the pictures, four pictures we have. Look at that. If we have night, write down night above the pictures. Then, we've got a piece of writing called poem. What does poem mean? Poem is a piece of writing that has its own sounds and images. And we use them to make the poem more beautiful and interesting. Uh, and it means Sha'ar in Kurdish. First, uh, we've had, you should capitalize the first letter of each line. This is the first characteristic quality of writing a poem. First, 
after having a title you need to have capitalized the first letter so capital letter of first line each lines that we have the t is capital the moon the is capital so and a is capitalized and another characteristic there should be four lines four verses huh? so we have to four lines four verses four lines this is another capitalization uh, another qualities four lines and after that we need to use simile what what does simile mean simile is a technique of writing poem it means the comparison of two things using as 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 adjective as and like for example if you want to compare something to something else use as adjective plus adjective plus as or use like in order to compare something to another for example you might say the sky is as dark as black point the sky is as dark as black point so the sky's darkness is compared to what black paint so the sky's darkness is like black paint the moon's whiteness is like snow so the moon is as white as snow okay or we might use like star sparkles like silver jewels so sparkles the lights of the stars the bright of the stars are like what like silver jewels so you have to use like and use as adjective as so as plus adjective plus as you and then the noun we have to use so you have to use this one so sometimes we might use rhymed words what rhyme words so rhyme words for example the we have a word from the we have the word from the end of the line for example look at the the morning you know, pictures the sky gets lighter quickly and the sun comes up in the sky look sky the last word of that line underline it and the birds all sing together and you can hear a crooked cry cry sky sounds like the same say same sounds so this is what we call poem because we're using somewhere in the end of the sentence end of the line sorry verses so this is what we call rhymed words sometimes you have to use it in order to have the same sound and make more interesting and more make sense so in that way we use it this is how you you write a poem for verse use simile as us are like capitalizations uh, rhyme words this is how you're going to write a poem and then we have got the quiz from the last uh, page of the units i'm going to do three solve three for a few for example the first one the sun on all the planets this is called solar system how does libby know so much about the dolphins in the story she knows because she has seen an interview from uh, she has seen a TV on televisions and th there was an, a dolphin expert that she talks about how to save a dolphin and three complete the sentence with correct phrasal verb do you want to to my house for lunch use phrasal verb we talked about phrasal verb so which phrasal verb do you use which kind of so come around come in so come around it means visit for lunch this is the uh, I've done three for you so you have to finish the rest for yourself Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please keep the video because you will need it in you will need it later to you to listen it again.